Now we're going to look at the list view. You can get there by the search field, which will show you both files and receipts, or by the view files button, which shows you files only, the view receipts button, showing only receipts, or by the navigator. But before we go there, let me first explain the difference between files and receipts. And as an example, let's say we sell tools and Ace Hardware is one of our clients. Let's do a search for Ace Hardware. Now when we hit enter, it'll take us to the list view that we're talking about today, but it'll only show Ace Hardware because that's what we're searching for. But before we really get into the list view too much, I want to first explain the difference between files and receipts. And here it is. Notice we have both files and receipts. Why is that? Let's open the file. We'll click the open icon. Now this is the main data page that we're going to go over in the next video, but I needed to bring you here to show you the files and receipts. And here you can see the buyer's information, address, and other data. And we probably have lots of notes and PDFs down in the notes section. But notice we also have a file location up here. This is a file cabinet. We have lots of file cabinets in our office, but this one's at my desk in file number four. That's where we would put some documents maybe that have original signatures. But many times we also have receipts as well. And because we purge our receipts at the end of every year, we keep those in a separate receipt bin. Looks like file number two in our receipt bin. And this is great because we finally have a place for scanned in documents, notes, paper files, and receipts all in one place. And we're going to go over this a little bit more in some of the other tutorials. So if it doesn't make perfect sense to you right now, hang on, it will. Let's get back to our lesson. Let's click on view files. We have the file name, contact name, the file rating, file location, if there's a paper document. Some do and some don't, as you can see. The security status and the keywords. Now, if a file is secure, Notice all of the location information, keywords, all the pertinent data is missing. The only thing that you see is the name of the file. In case you have sensitive documents like W-2s or financials, prying eyes will never be able to find your sensitive file. Watch what happens when I set the security for our life insurance policy. To unlock a file, you'll need your security pin. And we'll go over that in the security video just below this one. We've also given you a search field on this form so that you don't have to go home to do a search. You can just search right from this layout. Let's go home. Clicking on the View Receipts button shows only receipts and their locations. Again, notice Ace Hardware. A couple of other things to know. Over here you see a plus icon. If you want to keep a file list open while peeking into a file, just click the plus icon. This comes in handy when you're performing a search like vitamins. By the way, this is a good time to show you where the rating system comes in handy. Just click the rating header to sort by rating and you can quickly assess which are your favorite vitamins. To change your rating, just click whatever star you like. Or to cancel a rating altogether, click it again. All right, so let's keep our search results up and click the plus icon. Now you see the open file, but the list is still up. Now here's what you need to know. When you're done with the file, don't go home. Otherwise, you'll end up with multiple pages open. Just make sure you close the form. Now you're back on list view and you can continue as normal. Now let's clear our search just by clicking the cancel search icon and we'll see all of our files once again. And just like we did the vitamins, you can sort the list by any heading that has a directional icon next to it. Also, you can enter information on this page, which comes in very handy if you have a lot of new files to create. It also comes in handy when you're creating a file and you want it to mimic other files, so they're uniform. So if you have some files to enter, just click the plus icon up here as many times as you have files to enter and start entering data. This especially comes in handy when we're moving from old handwritten files to numeric files, and you might have 15 or 20 files that you want to create quickly. Once they're created, you can always go back into the actual file and add the rest of the data, such as contact information, etc. Keywords. Being able to see the keywords is important because many times the file name itself, well, it's not that helpful, such as our home insurance. I'll search for insurance and we see several things pop up. We've got our life insurance, 
Glacier Insurance, which is for our boat and car insurance. Samaritan, which is our health insurance. And finally, Southern Fidelity, which as we can see, 5519 Garrison and home and the keywords is our home insurance. Now you can do this any way you choose. I could have put home insurance in the file name and not had to put it in the tags, but it's your choice. And you're going to change things as you move along. As you get familiar with FileMaster, you will find the methodology that works for you best so that you never lose a file and everything makes sense. That's what makes FileMaster so great because you can set it up the way you choose. Now to delete a file, just click the trash icon, but be careful. This deletes the entire file along with any notes, conversations, or tasks that are associated with it. Just make sure that that's what you want to do. This might be a good time to peek into our file to make sure we want to delete it. So let's do that. We'll click the plus icon here, open the file, make sure that's what we want to delete. Close the form. Remember, we got to close the form and then delete. And finally, we can print our files by clicking the print icon. But here's what you need to know. Notice we have lots of file locations. We have Brooks Desk, Kim's Tower, some catalogs, reference files, work files. FileMaster allows us to print any one of those locations anytime we choose. We just choose the file location we want to print and then print. Now this is obviously a test file for the video, so there's not that many records. But here's a quick snapshot of our actual receipt list. And you can see that it prints in two columns. And we usually place this at the receipt location so that we don't have to look at the computer to file a receipt. And since it's alphabetical, finding receipts is super fast. You can put it on the wall, you can put it in file number one, whatever you choose, if you choose to do so. So that's everything you need to know about the list view. Next, we're going to look at the main data page, which is where you spend most of your time in FileMaster.